So let's begin coming down into the yoga mat, shavasana, and let the body rest. As we let the body rest, what do we feel? Is there balance through the physical body? Are there differences? Lightness or spaciousness? Any shakiness underlying the body as it rests down? Heaviness or lethargy? Take a few moments really to witness the feelings of the energy through the body. The feelings of the breath gently easing into the body and the breath releasing out. Not changing the breath, but just witnessing the feelings of the breath in and out of the body. Backs of heels, hip distance, let the feet drop away. Again, simply noticing balanced or different as they drop out. The backs of the heels coming up through the backs of legs to buttocks. And breathe out, softening. Calf muscles spreading. Backs of knees lengthening. Reconnection, backs of thighs and buttocks. Across the back of hips, pelvis, is there balance or is there difference? Coming up into the lower back, feeling the natural lift away from the mat. They come higher and feel reconnection through middle back. And breathing into the middle back, expanding on the inhale, softening on the exhale. Breaths expanding through the back ribs. You feel them press into the yoga mat. Exhale, softening. Can we bring those breaths through the back body all the way up to shoulder blades? Expanding through the back body with the breath and exhale, softening. Expansion through the back body. Any more opening available to you? Any more broadness? And then next in the hand, take the awareness of the back of the neck. Tuck the chin down on the exhalation, elongate the back of the neck. Slide down the spine, tuck the tailbone, lengthen the lower back. Breathe in there, breathe out, slide down the legs, push out through the heels, flex the feet, and then moving the feet in time with the breaths. Inhale, pointing of the toes, and exhale, flexing of the feet. In time with the breaths, inhale, pointing, exhale, flexing. Keep it going, your timing, your breath. And 
Next time you breathe in, point your toes and drop your big toes in to touch. And then breathe out, feet roll out. Breathe in, toes roll in, touch together. Breathe out, feet roll out. Keep it going. Full circles, keep the breaths as slow and as deep as you can. The next time your toes meet together, keep them together. Bring a deeper breath all the way through the body. Keep sipping the breath in, chest lifting, hollow the belly, chin tucking, hold for as long as you can. When you're ready to breathe out, the breath sighs out, the feet drop out, soften completely. And then breathe in, roll the toes in in the opposite direction. Breathe out, rolling out. Three rotations, slow and deep. Last rotation around for you. Bring the toes all the way back into reconnect. Touch them together. Deeper breath again, all the way through the body. Keep sipping that breath in. Can we scoop the belly out? Chin tucks, chest lift. And then sigh the breath out and again soften completely. Feel the whole body surrender onto the mat. And then breathe out, push the heels out, stretch up the back of legs. Inhale, right leg comes in and reach for it. Breathe out, roll forehead up towards your knee. Breathe in, lower the head onto the mat. Breathe out, arms and leg releasing out. Inhale, left knee comes in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead towards the knee. Inhale, lower the head onto the mat. And exhale, arms and leg release. Again, inhale, right leg in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead towards the knee. Inhale, lower the head onto the mat. Use the arms, bring the knee to the chest, squeeze it in. Bring it down wider to the underarm today, squeeze it down to the underarm. Take the left hand away and now roll this right knee around in circles, mobilizing from your hip. Full rotation. Opposite direction when you're ready, full circles. Then bring both hands around the leg again, press the knee down to the underarm. Keep the chin tucked, keep the left shoulder blade down, left hip and body, left heel press it long. And then put that left foot up on the yoga mat, cross the right ankle in front of that left thigh, right hand and knee pressing against each other, resisting. Left foot pressing into the mat, left hand on left hip, balancing the pelvis here. And then bringing the left knee into the chest if it's easy for you and reach around for your left leg, the shin or thigh for the stretch. Right knee winging away whilst the left knee comes in. Deepening the breaths if you can. Exhale, let your left foot drop to the yoga mat. Half happy baby, right hand, reach the arch of the right foot around the ankle or wrap the arm around the back of the right thigh. Working this right knee down wide beside us, drop the left knee out wide, balancing the pelvis. Flex the right foot, push the heel away, keep breathing. 
And then you can either straighten the leg out, working to unhinge the back of the knee joint, bending and straightening, mobilizing the leg, keep it out long or keep it bent, wherever it is for you. A half happy baby with leg bent, put towards the ceiling, a half urva or Bhavishta Konasana, long leg or moving between bottom. Now if the hip doesn't like it at all, bring the right foot towards the pelvis and let the knee wing down away from you, opening more through the front and top of the right hip. Your choice, just a few more moments. Where's the stretch? And then exhale, bring that right foot to meet the left foot. Both knees drop out, Supta Baddha Konasana. One leg will stretch differently to the other. Do you feel the differences? What do you notice? Bring the knees up together, let the legs slide out long. Bring a slow, deep breath in, and exhale, press the heels, stretch long. Then inhale, the left knee comes in, reach for it. Exhale, roll up forehead towards your legs, you're gonna use your core. Inhale, lower the head onto the mat. And then use this left hand, bring the knee down wider to the underarm. Take the right hand out of the way. And then using the rotation, mobilizing through the hip as we roll the knee in full circles. Then opposite direction when you're ready. both hands back around the knee, bring it down to the underarm as deep as you can. Keep your right shoulder blade down, right buttock, right heel, stretch it long. Full exhalation, flatten the belly. And then slide the right leg in, put the foot up on the mat. Cross the left ankle in front of that right thigh. Left hand and leg resisting against each other. Right foot press into the mat. Balance the pelvis, keep breathing. And then if the stretch is easy enough for you on the second side, reach through, pick up your right leg, hold around the shin or thigh. Right knee coming in, left knee pressing away, breathing into your stretch. Try not to swivel out of alignment. So if you need to lift the head, check as the pelvis balance or have you swivel. Exhale, we let the left foot drop to the mat. Sorry, right foot drop to the mat. Then take the left hand to hold the left arch. The ankle will come around the back of the thigh. Working a half happy baby, right knee drops away. Left leg bent, the foot flexed to the ceiling. Stay in the half happy baby or straighten and bend the leg. Mobilize it, move between both. Staying in one, bent or straight, however that feels for you again on this second side. And again, if the left hip doesn't like it, it's getting pinched, bring the left foot towards the pelvis more and move the left knee down away from you, opening through the front of the hip. So again, working where you can with it, keep breathing where you want to, where you can. And then exhale fully, both feet meet together, Supta Baddha Konasana. Let the arms sweep back behind you and reach for the elbows. If it's difficult to hold elbows, hold wrists, cup hands, or simply longer, wider arms if you've got sore shoulders. Slow breath into the belly, the ribs, the upper chest. Breathe out, the belly drops, the ribs and upper chest surrender down. Breathing in, full breaths, full yogic breaths, 
through the full length of your body. Exhale, slowly releasing out. Keep the breath slow and deep. Start to really stretch on your inhales now. Press the feet long, pull the arms long. Exhale, softening. Each time we breathe in, stretch the body long. Feet press down and long. Exhale, softening. Couple more rounds. Last exhale for you, hold the breath out. Change the grip on the elbows, unnatural side or arms, wherever you're holding. And then slow breath in when you're ready. All the way through your body, pause at the end of the breath. Slow breath out, pause at the end of that breath. Use this time to really just enjoy slow, deep breaths. Pause at the end of each breath. Slow breath out, pause at the end of the breath. Count each breath silently to yourself. No rushing, gushing, pushing of the breath. Keep it as steady and as calm as you can. Slow and deep. Really feel expansion. So we've been working a bit with the pranayam this week, extension of the breath. Where can you feel it open through your body? With the arms reaching back behind you, creates openness through the chest, hips open, legs still dropped. Notice can we open the body whilst we breathe, conscious breaths long and deep. Keep them balanced, keep them slow. One more. Finish the round of breath work you're on and then one more. Focus on that last exhalation and really focus on full breath. Get the stale energy out of the body by flattening the belly, flattening the ribs, flattening the chest. Hold the breath out if there's anything left. Full exhale, breathing out as best you can. Hold out if there's anything left. When you are ready to breathe in, let the arms stretch long, bring them all the way down around beside you. Assist the knees to come up into the chest, bring the knees in, wrap the arms around the legs, hug in, let your body gently rock side to side. Give yourself a moment, come back to a stillness when you're ready and just relax. We let our shoulders drop. Feel a softening as we hug the knees in. So we're not squeezing, we're not forcing, shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Breathe naturally. 
Where do you feel the breath? With the knees hugging in, is there any compression anywhere? Do you notice the breath moving anywhere in particular? What is it for you? And then exhale fully, we squeeze the knees to the chest. Press down actively, hold the breath out for as long as you can. Breathe in, take forehead towards the knees. Keep breathing, the shortening of the front body. Where do you feel your breath? And then exhale, lower the head down, arms on the mat beside us. Take the legs up, flex the feet, stretch those legs as high as you can. Take them wide as you exhale, inner heels up and out. Stretch wide, stretch long. Inhale the legs up together, push the heels up, stretch. Exhale, bend, feet onto the mat, hip distance parallel. Push into the feet, roll the hips up, but not too high that you're jamming. I'd rather just roll up gently today, take the arms over. Hips comfortably high, not so high that you're jamming anywhere. Keep breathing. Press the feet down, inner outer edges. And then just feel the breath, make it as slow and as gentle as you can, all the way through the front body. So you might start to feel that the front body is getting pressed down into the ribs, the chest is lower than the hips, so it's driving the prana, the energy into the chest. Keep breathing as actively as you can. Noticing you're getting any lightness or any feelings of awakening. The body holding up, it also might be strengthening. You feel the back body strengthen as we hold up. So important for us. Might feel the hamstrings, the glutes. If there's any pinching in the lower back, drop the hips, tuck the tailbone under some more. Keep breathing. Next inhale, lift the heels or toes off the mat. Roll slowly down, press your back through the yoga mat. Enjoy that feeling of just really pressing, rolling. Let the arms come down. Bring the knees into the chest, wrap the arms. Rock your body side to side. Gentle rocking motion. Come to a stillness when you're ready to. Once you're still, gently rock the head side to side. Mobilize the neck. If one side of the neck is particularly tight, hold into it or keep moving gently. Can we let the head come to center? Let the left foot drop to the mat. Take the right leg up to the ceiling and hold the back of your right leg. Now if it's easy on a stretch, take the left leg out along the mat. Try and keep the left leg active to anchor the right buttock and pelvis balancing. And then as you press the back of the right buttock hip into the yoga mat, press the heel towards the ceiling. So right buttock, press it down, right heel pushing up. The leg can be bent as much as you need, straightening where you can. Is there breath? Make sure there's breath in the stretch. You're not jamming, you're not forcing. Remember to where you can. And where do you notice? Now bend the leg down a fraction more and push the heel up. Keep the foot flexed, just bend the leg more. The heel is still pressing to the ceiling. Just a subtle change and notice where the stretch changes for you. And now start to turn the toes out, external rotation. The heel pressing up, toes turning out. Straighten the leg up as much as you can. Breathe into the feeling. Bring the leg across the body towards the left. Put the left hand outside of your right leg. Right thumb into the hip crease. Anchor the right buttock down. You're not falling over to the side. Keep breathing. The leg's resisting. It's trying to come back to the right. The left hand won't let it.
and then exhale, let this leg go as far to the left as you're comfortable to do, without falling over that side, without pinching on the inside of the leg, keep breathing into the stretch, do you feel lengthening around the underside of the back, the body? Keep the leg and hand resisting. Even though you've gone over towards that left side, it's still trying to push back to the right. You're still anchoring the right body with that right hand. Then inhale, bring the leg all the way back up to center. Hold around the back of the leg, stretch the heel up again. Feel where the length is. Has it changed or opened for you? Roll up, touch the forehead to the leg. Move the leg away, keep trying to pull yourself higher to it. Let go of the leg and stay there. Can we hold up for three more breaths? And then lower the head, the arms, the leg. Let go, rest down. Let the foot drop away, let the whole body soften. Completely letting go. What's the feeling? What do you notice? And press the heels out, stretch long. Bend the legs up, feet on the mat. Take the left leg up then and hold around the back of your left leg. Take the right leg out long if it's easy, stretch it. Keep breathing. Easy hold. So if you've reached up the leg and your shoulders are jamming up near your ears, just slide the hands further down the leg. So your shoulders are down away from the ears, your chin is down, the back of neck is long. And then breathing into the stretch. So as we press the left heel up to the ceiling, we make sure our left body, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and the back of the left hip are pressing into the yoga mat. It doesn't help swallowing air when you're trying to talk. <laughs> I should have blasted it by now in all my years. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so this left back of hip and body is pressing down as the heel stretches up. And now a slight bend of the leg. As we bend the leg, we push the heel up. Do we feel the change in the stretch? Breathing into the sensations and then start to turn the toes out. Heel in, toes out. Hold around the leg where you can and with the external rotation take that leg up as straight as you can. Breathe into the feeling. Now we're bringing right hand outside edge of the leg, left thumb into the hip crease. Start to bring the leg across the body. And then not so far that you're falling, keeping the left buttock on the mat. Start resisting. This left leg's coming back to the left, right hand resisting. Keep breathing into your stretch. Resistance and breathe. Make sure the right leg is active. Start to bring this left leg further across to the right. Remember not so much that you're falling and not so much that there's any pinching. So this left hand keeps this left body down on the mat as much as you can. And even though the leg's coming across to the right, you're, it's resisting, it's trying to come back to the left. Exhale fully, bring the leg all the way back up to center. Hold around the back of the left leg to where you can. Stretch and lengthen. Has the stretch changed or opened anywhere for you? Exhale, firm the belly. 
Inhale, roll up forehead to your leg. Keep breathing, move the leg away from you, try and roll higher. And then let go of the leg and stay there. Three more breaths. Third breath for you, lower the head, arms and leg. Let the whole body release down, let go. Balanced or different, what does it feel like? Adjust if you feel out of alignment. Find a stillness when you're ready, just enjoy this feeling of completely letting go in your time. Let the arms reach all the way up behind you long. Point your toes. Bring a slow, deep breath in. Feel you're being stretched from fingers to toes. Hands, feet, arms, legs, the spine. Stretch, stretch, stretch. More breath in and in as much as you can. Hold it. Sigh the breath out and soften. When you're ready, bend your legs up. Roll to your right. Come up on the hands and knees into your four-point position. Can we keep shoulders stacked above wrists, hips stacked above knees as we dip on the inhale, looking up. Exhale, slowly roll the spine, looking in. Moving your timing, your breaths. Next time you're dipping your spine, stay there, looking up. If you're looking up and you're frowning, look down the tip of the nose, relax the forehead. Keep breathing here, just let the belly go soft. Keep the shoulders sealed back, make sure they're not hunched up around near the ears. Unlock the elbows if you need to. Press the palms, fingertips and thumb tips down. And then inhale, lift your right leg up behind you, bend it. Put the right knee on that left calf Achilles. Press up and down along it, find a tight spot and press and hold into it. Keep breathing. Now lift that right leg all the way up behind you again. Lift and stretch. Swing it over to your left. Put it on the floor and slide it out long. Stretching out through that left buttock and hip. ITB, right leg long. Stretch and breathe. Notice as the chest get compressed on the leg. Maybe you can get the breath into the right side body a little bit longer. Stay here, but just tuck the toes, lift off the back knee and push out through the back leg. Exhale fully. Can we push off and bring this right leg out wide to the right? Bend it if it's too intense, straight leg. And then look back down to the yoga mat with your stronger left arm out wide to the left. So you're working some core strength here. Always good, always required. Put the left hand down, bend the right knee, bring it in. Dip the spine, inhale again, look up. Let the belly soften. Unlock elbows, shoulders stacked above wrists. Let the belly be soft and breathe. Slow the breaths and where do you feel it?
Then next inhale, let that left leg go up high. Then the leg and put the left knee on the back of the right calf Achilles. Press down and up along it. Press into it stretching. If you find a tight spot, press and hold or keep moving, your choice. And then lift the leg up again, stretch it, swing it over to your right, slide it out long. Working that right body can hip out. ITB, left leg long, stretch. Does the chest get compressed on the leg? And if so, do you feel the breath through the left side lengthening, opening? Where is it for you? Tuck the back toes, lift off the back knee, push out through that back foot. Really good for the stretch on the toes and arch of the foot as well. If it's stiff, press back to where you can. Exhale fully, we push up, left leg swinging out wide to the side. If it's too intense, bend the leg, straight if you can. Look back down to the yoga mat, right arm wide. Feeling stability, some core strength. Hold it up to where you can. Hand down, bend the knee and put the knee down. To keep shoulders above wrist, keep your neutral spine. Hitch your right knee out to the side, bend. Now the legs straighten it, bend it back in, put it down. Left leg, hitch it out to the side, bend. Straighten it out to the left, bend it back in, put it down. Right knee hitch to the side, straighten the leg out, bend the leg back in, put it down. Left knee up to the side, straighten the leg wide to the side, bend it back in, put it down. Right leg again, lift it up to the side, leg out straight, bend it back in, pause for a moment. Keep the knee at a 90 degree angle, makes the feeling that someone's holding that leg up for you. Strengthening the outer edge of hip and glute. Couple more breaths. Can you lift it any higher? Lower it down. Left knee, take it wide. Straighten the leg out. Bend it back in and again lift it up. Pause and hold. Don't let that right shoulder roll forward. Keep the pelvis balanced, shoulders balanced. Someone's lifting that leg up, helping you with it. Exhale down. Take the buttocks slowly back to the heels. Go back to child pose, palms turn up, forehead rest, soften completely. So if the front body's compressed on your legs here, breathe through your back body, let the shoulders go broad, and really let those breaths expand through those back lower ribs as much as you can. Chin in and up, back of neck long. Breath so important to our well-being. When we change the shape of the body, we notice where the breath moves, the prana moves. Try and deepen it, pranayama, the extension of the breath. Changing shapes, moving the energy in and around the body. Chest compressed, belly compressed, what happens? Internal organs get squished up, giving them a nice squish so when we release out, Fresh oxygenated blood flows through them, detoxing organs. Back body gets stretched out, kidneys, adrenal glands on kidneys, 
calming the nervous system as we slow the breath, re-energizing. Press down through the shins, firm the belly, roll up on your inhale, keep your chin tucked, nice and slow, roll up. And then once you're all the way up, the head will come up last, give yourself a moment and just notice the feeling. Maybe you feel more light, more spaciousness in the chest now, breathe into that, open up. And then let the arms float up, not force them up, and just keep them up there and look up if it's easy on the neck, if it's not easy, head neutral. If you've dropped through the back middle ribs, lift them out behind you more. If your shoulders are pinching, arms in front more. Keep breathing, full expansion of the breath, feeling the energy lifting upwards, or arms reaching up. Then exhale, hands onto the mat, shoulders distance, slide them long. Glide the chest along the mat. Cobra or up dog, push down and arch it up to where you can. Shoulders back. Make sure the chest is in front of the shoulders, if not lower down. Get those shoulders back and pull your chest further through. Now keep breath at breathing, no contraction anywhere, no pinching, opening it up. From toes to throat, that front body opened, elongated, breathing all the way through the front body. And then exhale, lower down, both legs off the mat, straight, don't let them bend, really strong. Legs lifted, chest lift to the same height as the legs. Hands drag back, shoulders seal back. Lower the legs and again, open up the chest. Does it feel lighter this time after the legs being lifted? More strength. Downward facing dog, tuck or roll, take the buttocks up and stretch back long. Unlock knees, unlock your elbows. Let the head relax in. And then feel stretch through your back body. Slow, steady breaths in and out. Right leg taken up, roll the hip up, ribs up, twist up, look up under that right underarm. Can you feel lightness and opening on this right side of the body? Keep breathing into it, lengthening, stretching. Unlock the left knee if you've locked it out. Push away from the arms, upper body still strengthening, but right side you feel the opening, the lightness. Bring the knee to nose, round the upper back, chin in, shoulders broad. And then step the foot down, left knee down, low lunge. Inhale, let the arms come up, let them float up. And then hands on hips and you already feel the lightness in the chest opening up. Hips balancing, coming into the lunge as much as you can. Push back from the right foot, keep the left hip, uh, sorry, right foot pushing the right hip squaring back. Left hip forward. I mirror so much I don't remember my rights or lefts anymore, sorry. Looking up and tag the arms up, let them float. Keep breathing. So you want to feel this lightness, this expansion through the upper body. So the shoulders are jamming, arms wider. And then exhale, let the hands float down, pull the front toes up. Stretch back, Ardha Hanumanasana, your half split. The heel digging in, the buttock extending long. Lift the chest, tuck the chin. Keep breathing. Now let's mobilize it. Breathe in. As you exhale, come forward and stay there for the full length of the exhalation. Inhale, move back, toes pull up. And stay there for the full length of the exhalation. Again, the foot comes down. Breathe in and then full exhale, sinking deep. Inhale, front toes pull up. 
Exhale, full stretch, lengthen that. Inhale, move. Exhale, come into the stretch. Inhale, move. Exhale, stay here, toes pulled up. Bring both hands diagonally to your left. Tilt the sit bones out to the right corner along behind you. Feel this different angle, this different line. Does it open anywhere differently for you? Keep breathing. Let the foot come down flat, shift the body weight. Careful with the left knee as you swivel the left foot around. So you're now coming up with this left leg out parallel to the short end of the mat and we're in a kneeling lunge. Right foot forward, right forearm rest on the thigh, left arm up and over. Push away from that right foot as you come into it as deep as you can. Keep breathing. And then exhale, let this left arm swivel down. Bring both hands to the floor, careful on that back knee as you swivel back all the way along the mat. Once you're here, pull these right toes up again, Ardha Hananasana. Little toe side of the foot, drop it out. Keep the foot flexed, but drop it away. Left hand under the shoulder, right arm up, twist. Open up and look up as much as you can. Now exhale, circle the arm around and down, inside edge. Keep these right toes turned out, knee out as you sink forward as deep as you can with the pelvis. Shuffle it longer if you can. Keep breathing. If it's easy, come down onto the forearms, opening into where you can with your stretch. So you can keep the back leg out straight or you might want to bend the leg up. If you wish to, you can bend the back leg up, reach the opposite hand to the foot, and twist back opening. Working that left thigh towards the yoga mat. Keep breathing. Exhale fully, we're releasing back to down dog. Lift up, step it back, best way you can and find your downward facing dog. Take the buttocks high, unlock knees, unlock elbows. Push away from the hands. Feel the energy driving down through the upper body and then push away from it. Creating strength. Whilst the back body lengthens, press the heels down, elongate through the legs. Is there a lightness in the legs up to the hips? If you're more upper body, carrying the weight, a couple more breaths. Next inhale, left leg's going up. Roll the hip up, ribs up, twist up, look up under the left underarm. And so noticing the energy shift straight away as this left side light up. Breathing into the feeling. Unlock the right knee, chin in. Bring the knee to the nose, shoulders above wrists, make it strong. Feel the front body round in, contract the back body open. Step the left foot down, right knee down. Inhale, the arms come up, reaching up. Hands under the hips, exhale and balance up. Push away from this front foot, right hip pulling forward, left body pressing back, square off as best as you can. Once you're balanced, arms going up. Feel the lightness, let them flow. Open the body, feel lightness and spaciousness. Make sure you're not dropping in your back. One more breath, reaching up. Exhale, the arms come down each side of the front foot. Pull the toes up, stretch up the back of the leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. 
Heel digs in, buttock extends back long. Chest lifted, chin tucked, keep breathing. And then mobilize a deep breath in. Exhale, come forward and sink through as deep as you can. Remember, we move on the inhale. Inhale, pull up again. Exhale, deepen back into the stretch. Inhale, foot comes down. Exhale, sink in as deep as you can. Inhale, toes pull up. Exhale, stretch back as long as you can. Again, keep it going. Now the next time you've got the foot toes pulled up, the buttocks stretching out, stay there. Lengthen through the back of the leg. Then both hands come across to the right corner in front of you. Take the left buttock out longer diagonally behind and feel the different angle of the stretch. Up and under the leg, outer leg, inner leg, wherever you feel. And head and chest lift, come back centered along the leg. Toes pulled up. Right hand under the shoulder, left arm up, twist up. Drop the little toe side of the foot out. So we hit up along the sciatic nerve line. Keep the foot flexed, pulling back. Little toe side of foot dropping away. Keep breathing. Exhale, circle the top arm around and down inside edge of the foot. Let the toes come down, the foot stays turned out. Bring the pelvis forward, shuffle longer if you've got the length. Coming down onto the forearms if it's easy for you. Finding the stretch, lengthening into where you can. Whoops, we didn't go out to the knees sideways, sorry. Come back up for a minute. Bring those right toes down. Sorry, left toes down, swing the right foot out behind you, sorry about that. And then come up so you're along the other long edge of your mat and we're doing our kneeling lunge. Left forearm rest on the thigh, right arm up and over and stretch. Opening up through those inner legs and hips. Top side body stretching, lengthening. Exhale, sweep it down. Careful on that back knee as you swivel again. Bring that right leg out long behind you. Now bring both hands inside to this left foot. Let's turn it out, knee out. Sinking through, coming through to where you can into your stretch. Make sure you're not hanging the head, pull the chest long. So remember you can stay here, or the option was to bend the back leg up. Reach the opposite hand back for the leg. Taking hold if you wish to. Rotating chest and face up, looking back. Working the right thigh closer towards the mat. Pushing away from left foot. Keep breathing. So wherever you've got to, we're all kneeling back and down dog, best way you can get there. Take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Walk it out on the spot if you want, bend and straighten the legs. Swing the hips side to side. If there's a tight spot, hold into it or keep moving. And bring it back to stillness when you're ready. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Next. 
exhale fully coming through to sit best way you can. Lower to your knees, crush through or swing the legs to the side, come through into a long diamond shape with the legs. So knees drop away, soles of feet together, let your body roll in surrender. So if you come in deep and there's pulling at the lower back, lift down and get more rounded through middle back, upper back. If the neck is sore, support the head, prop it, tuck the chin, whatever works for you, opening where you can. Let yourself breathe, releasing any tensions out of the back body, broadening, lengthening, opening. Exhale fully, roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Hold around the knees, shins, where you can pull against the arms, stretch sitting tall. Tilt the right ear down, left ear up. Keep breathing, resisting for the stretch. Center, second side, left ear down, right ear up. Inhale, the head centers. Bring the chin around to the right. Tuck it down and in. Keep it to the right. Just bring it back up to neutral and bring the arms around to the right. Twist your body and look around behind the right side as best you can. Can you feel your back coming into the twist? The belly, the chest, the shoulder. Careful with the neck. Feel the whole body rotate. Squeeze the last breath out, come back to centre, hold around the shins, take the left chin around to the left, left chin, chin around to the left, tuck down and in, find that stretch, twist on the stretch on the neck, and then inhale the head up to neutral, still around to the left thigh, bring the arms around, rotate and look back as much as you can. Exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Come back to centre. Hold around the knees. Shins round the back out behind you. Tuck your chin in. Make sure it's the upper back, middle back, not the lower back that's being stretched. So broadening middle back, upper back. Chin in, back of neck long. And then roll the head all the way back up to neutral, spine boost to neutral. Assist the legs to come up, give them a shake out, roll out, mobilize any part that you need to. Make sure there's enough mat for you to roll back to. Use your core body and roll back as much as you can. 
Letting the whole body rest down, palms turn up, feet drop away, close the eyes, be completely still. If you do have any back issues, bend your legs up. Otherwise, just rest the body, notice the feelings. Is there balance through the back body? Is there a surrendering? Is there a softening? Letting go. If your mind wanders away already to thoughts and sounds, bring it back. Stay with the sensation, the breath gently moving. We're not extending the breath, we're witnessing. This is the time where we surrender completely, letting go. Tuning in to the sensations, the feelings of the body, the breath, connection. Again, if the mind is wandered, bring it back to breath. Witnessing the feelings, the breath gently in and out. Just enjoy a few more moments, completely surrendering. And keep noticing if the mind wanders away and gently bring it back to the breath and body. Stay present with the breath and the body. Does the awareness awaken into any other areas? Are you tensing anywhere that you might feel a surrendering and a softening?
to gradually lengthen and deepen your breaths. And as you let those breaths deepen, start to rub thumbs and fingers and wriggle toes. Opening, closing hands and flexing feet back and forth. Circling joints, ankles and wrists, full rotations. An opposite direction in your time. When you're ready, stretch the arms up and over, reach out long, and sigh and soften. Twice more. And after your last stretch, bend your legs up, roll to your right, give yourself a moment there. Moving slowly to come up and sit. Easy cross the legs, thumb and first finger connect. Sitting tall through the spine, chin gently tucked. If you're falling out of the back, prop the hips up. Awareness to the entrance of the nostrils, slow breaths in and out. Noticing the sensation of breath through the nostrils. Coolness of the incoming breath, warmth of the outgoing. Notice is one nostril dominant or are they completely balanced? Awareness to even the most subtle of difference of the breath. When you're ready, bring your left hand in underneath your right underarm with the thumb pointing up to the ceiling. Press down and in on that underarm region with the hand squeezed in there. Deep breaths. Do you feel the left side nostril opening more? Left hand releases out, bring the right hand in underneath the left underarm, squeeze down, deep breaths. Do you feel the right side nostril opening more? Release the hand out, thumb and first finger connect. Gentle breaths, you feel like any more openness in the nasal passages. So if knowing if one's blocked, you put the hand in under the opposite underarm, clearing out that nasal passage. Next inhale for you, let the arms sweep up, connect the hands together and bring them to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips. As we move through life, we have kind words. Bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion. And we have kindness. Namaste. Fold the body, stretch long, surrender forward. Be still or rock it out however you wish to finish. And then when you're ready, rolling off and finishing in your time.